A bone stress injury in the femur is one of the most serious injuries a runner can face. So catching them early is important to avoid complications. In this video, I'm gonna break down exactly how to spot a potential bone stress injury in a runner's femur to avoid worse outcomes and complications. My name is Nathan Carlson. I'm a running specific physical therapist and I've helped thousands of runners come back from injuries. Let's dive into today's video. Your femur is a long, thick bone specifically designed to deal with the demands of running. Practically, you can divide the femur into the head, that's the hip joint, the neck, and the femoral shaft. And runners can get injuries in any of these locations, with each managed a bit differently. You see, we break down bone stress injuries into high-risk and low-risk locations based off of their potential to heal on their own and their likelihood of having further complications. The femoral neck is a high-risk location, while the femoral shaft is categorized as a low-risk location. Let's break down how the femoral neck shows up first. Your femur has to absorb 8.4 times your body weight during running, and its specific blood supply and biomechanics puts it at a high High risk of developing complications when an injury occurs. Your circumflex artery goes around your femoral neck and if the injury progresses to a full fracture it can sever this artery cutting off blood supply to your femur and meaning you might need a total hip replacement. Not ideal. Femoral neck bone stress injuries account for about 3% of bone stress injuries and around 50% of athletes that sustain one of these injuries aren't going to return to their full level of participation. We divide the femoral neck into medial and lateral aspects with the medial medial aspect taking most of the brunt of running. Most of the femoral neck bone stress injuries I treat happen at the medial femoral neck, which is better designed to heal on its own. Bone stress injuries in the medial femoral neck are more likely to heal if they are less than 50% of the width of the femoral neck. If a runner sustains a femoral neck bone stress injury, we want it to be medial and we want it to be less than 50%. It takes about 12 to 16 weeks to return to running after a femoral neck bone stress injury. All right, let's go over to the femoral shaft. 2.8 to 7% of bone stress injuries happen at the femoral shaft. And while it's not as serious of an injury location as the femoral neck, it's still something that needs to be taken seriously. Injuries tend to hit the femoral shaft on the distal third of the medial aspect of the femoral shaft. So far down on the femur and a little bit more on the inside. And it's often misdiagnosed as a quad strain, although they don't have a specific mechanism of injury. It's a key thing to look for. Let's go through how these two injuries present in your clinical exam. Overall, both of these injuries are gonna present with pain with weight bearing, pain with impact like jumping or running, as well as pain with anything that forces the hip musculature to contract. The femoral neck is gonna typically present with pain in the groin, anterior thigh, or lateral thigh, while the femoral shaft is gonna present with pain in their quad or pain in their medial thigh. When we go through a typical hip examination, the femoral neck is gonna present with pain with flexion, pain with internal rotation, a positive scours test, and potentially a positive Faber's test. With the femoral shaft, they will typically present without pain with their hip examination. So flexion, internal rotation, and external rotation are often pain-free. The femoral shaft will often have a painful fulcrum test. And again, with both of them, if you take them through a plyometric assessment or a running analysis, they'll often have symptoms. If you suspect either one of these in the clinic, it's always best to play it conservative, especially if you are more suspicious of the injury being in the femoral neck, which is known for more complications and worse outcomes. If you wanna learn more about how to manage these specific injuries, make sure to download my femur protocol that you can find in the description. Thanks for watching.